It's uh, Sunday, October 24th, I think. <laughs> uh, this is the Electric Alpha project, and we have made a giant step this afternoon. Um, I have a Thunderstruck uh, custom charger. It's a pretty cool device. You can um, program the parameters of charge current and pack voltage. So the situation was I had two of my battery modules that I charged at work. So they're fully charged, but then I have the rest of the pack, which is 14 other modules that needs to be charged. So I had to program it to give it the right pack voltage, which is 112, but when you add the other two, the next time we charge everything, it's going to be 128. Something like that. All right, so let me just give you a little tour here. What we got? We got the uh, Thunderstruck charger. Um, I don't really know what that means, but that's the indicator. This is the controller. It's connected by a CAN wire. So this is the communication line, which tells the charger what to do. And um, the charger has a uh, AC cable coming in. I had to build all the pins. And it has DC going out to the battery pack, which is underneath all this crap. And the controller is connected via USB to the laptop down here. And it's basically just a command prompt. Um, so it's a serial port, USB serial, and I'm connected to the uh, charger, and my, I can hit command show. And my pack voltage is now 94.2. Uh, five, ten minutes ago it was 88, and my charge current is 15 amps. Um, so, it's doing its thing. <laughs> and that's uh, pretty good, because we, we drove the car um, about a mile, and it was pretty exciting, but then we ran out of batteries. And that's the big thing about lithium that you learn pretty quickly, is that they provide a lot of power, and then they suddenly go dead. Unlike like a lead acid battery, you can kind of, you know, it's moving really slowly for a while. Lithium just drops off fast. So we had to get the car towed, but uh, now we're charging it. <laughs> so that means we get to drive it pretty darn soon. See you around.